you know, but it's a little bit hard to read it as you're trying to tip it over. Hard to read the, the best way to do that would have been to have a digital version of this and then pull it and then it tips and then you read the maximum that it went up to, the maximum tension that it went to, freeze that. Because then you can see exactly what was the maximum tension and at one point it tipped, you see? Because uh, it's kind of hard to do it as you're trying to drag it. So that's the physics of that. <clears throat> Now, it, the problem could ask something like this. For example, if it asks, uh, if the force is, see, at point 8 newtons, we're saying it tips. What if you apply the force at 15 centimeters, but you don't apply 0.8 newtons, you apply 0.6 newtons. So, if F is applied, at point uh, at uh, 15 centimeters, but F equals 0.6 newtons. Tell me where is the distribution of the normal force? Where is the normal force now distributed? It's not going to be at the tip now. So now you argue that the box looks like this, it looks like this, it looks like mg, and then the normal force looks like that. So it's, not, it's no longer at the tip. So now, uh, let's see, which two torques are helping each other? The, normal, the force is this way, the normal force is also trying to make it rotate this way. See, R crossed into F is into the board, and then for the normal force, it's this little piece, R cross into F into the board. So these two torques are this way, and then the MG is R cross into F out of the board. You see? So we have H times F plus this distance is X, X times N. Okay? And then there's actually friction force that's pulling this way, mu KN. However, it doesn't apply a torque. The mu kn is just this way, so along the direction of x, it doesn't apply a torque. It just uh, stretches the object, right? In order to apply a torque, you need an angle. So you have uh, h uh, f plus x n equals to the same thing. Must be equal to the torque due to the mg, which is mg, the width divided by 2. So you have here 15 centimeters plus, uh, let's say the force is 0.6 newtons, plus the x is equals to, well, that's what we're solving for. And then n equals to mg. So, uh, and then uh, this is equal to mg. And then the w over the 2 is uh, 7 centimeters, right? And then here you have uh, x equals 7 times mg divided by, no, uh, minus 0.6 times 15 is 9 divided by mg. This is 15 centimeters, right? What was the mass? I erased it all. Uh, 0.174, right? And this will tell you where the normal force is concentrated.
one point you see so it is not at the tip since we're applying a force less than uh, what it takes to tip right it takes 0.8 newtons to tip but we're applying a force less than that so therefore the concentration of the normal force is more in it's it's not going to tip and if we apply a force even less than that the concentration of the normal force is more here you know more and more to the left you see actually I could do various other examples of statics problems, but more or less, you got the gist of it. My point is not to give you all the different kinds, but the gist of the uh, statics problems is always so set the sum of the forces zero, set the sum of the torques equal to zero, and for the torques, you can choose any point, you see. So you'll have different situations. I think on the review sheet, I'll give you a question like this. You have a ladder, you have a lean it against the wall, and I have a person standing on the ladder, and I say, how much up the ladder can the person walk before the ladder slips? Okay? So you put a ladder, that, that problem there could save your life one day. Okay? You put a ladder against the wall, you don't want to walk up too much up the ladder because you exert too much torque. Okay? So on that problem, I give you the mu s here, and I give you the mu s prime here, the coefficient of static friction, the coefficient of static friction, and then I ask you how, what's the highest you can walk up the ladder. So you can, you're going to set the, some of the forces in the y direction equal to zero, some of the forces in the x direction zero, and then some of the torques about any point equal to zero. For that problem, I choose this as my point usually. Because then the friction force and the normal force, there's two forces concentrated there. So if I set my pivot point there, those two forces don't exert any torque. You see? So I usually do it that way. So I suggest set, set the pivot point here and do all of the torques about that pivot point, and you should, get, uh, you should have no problem solving that. Okay? So that's pretty much it for chapter 12. Monday.